Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another poster text effect tutorial. We have here this new movie uh, called Infinite and it's great. The poster design looks amazing, the text effect is amazing. So I'd like to recreate this with you guys. But before we start here, I'd like to say thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel. It really helps me a lot. It motivates me to bring you more and more tutorials. So um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's get to the tutorial. So we got the reference image ready. We got a large one and a small one. Um, I like to just put it uh, the small one in the corner so it just kind of like gives me a chance to, to, to just quickly have a look at it if I don't have the big large one turned on. Okay, I'll, I'll just turn it off for now. I'll move the large one a little bit down because my design comes there. And what I already created is the shape. So I just literally traced it over with the pen tool and I created this infinite shape. And what we're gonna do, we're going to duplicate this and we're going to create the bevel. Um, I'm just going to bevel for now. That's fine. I'm gonna change the color a little bit so we can see what we're doing. But it's very simple. I just select transform and just going to squeeze this a little bit here and then the side as well, both sides. And also I'm going to select my pen tool and just kind of fine tune it. Um, actually, before we do that, I'm just going to have a cutout of the layer from below. So I'm, I created the duplication of the layer from below, the base shape. I'm going to select both of them and then go into Unite Shapes as Overlap. And now I can go back to my bevel and just kind of go into move this around until it looks closer to what we have at the reference. Okay, so this one, this anchor point can come up a little bit like that. Here we are. This one as well, maybe to the side. There we go. Awesome. To the top. Okay. Um, yeah, something like this. Okay, don't worry if it's not perfect. Um, it's fine. We can always go back and change it. You see, these are non destructive. So I'm just going to kind of work on them. More time you invest in it, the better result you'll get. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you the technique and, uh, and let you to explore. So we got the bevel, that's great. And then we're going to apply different kind of shadows and highlights. So starting off with the base shape, I create a new layer. Um, I'm just going to clip it here. Just have to hold the Alt key and uh, click between the two layers so you will just clip it there. And I go with normal black and just going to change the opacity. Um, yeah, I mean, 40 should be fine. Let's see. So, what we're gonna do is just going to uh, trying to match the reference. I'm just going to have, yeah, a little bit here on this corner. That's great. The other corner as well looks good. And here, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okie dokie. There we go. I'm going to create another layer. Also clip it to this base shape. And this time I'm just going to use a lighter color. I'm not going to go with white. I'm just going to color pick one color from here. Uh, a bit brighter and um, change the blending mode to linear, linear dodge. Yeah, that sh should be fine. And let's see. So I'm just going to go on this side here. Again, about mm, that is too much. Let's go down. 
a little bit. Okay. 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 On the top here, wrap it on the bottom. Yeah, something like this. What I like to do is just using this layer and use a smudge tool and then just kind of play with it. And I'm just going to, you know, just bring it in a little bit here, pull it back here. You can create some nice, interesting shapes with this technique. You know, just use the smudge tool to move it around here as well. Now we go some nice shapes here as well. Bring it in a little bit here. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah. So we got this. I'm going to add one more on the top. Actually, on the top of the other layer here, like that. Yeah. And then change it to linear dodge again. Don't forget to change to the brush here. I'm just going to change the angle a little bit. Well, yeah, maybe one or two. And then just smudge it again, you know, just play with it. Actually, this is quite dark there. Okay, I'm going to Okay. I think that's enough. Yes, uh we're going to add some shadows here to the bevel as well because we didn't do that yet. Um just going to change the angle. Here we are. Bit bigger size like this. And ah, I forgot to change to uh, to my brush. There we go. Should be fine now. Okay. Yeah, I think this should be fine. You know, obviously, if we spend more time with it, we'll get closer to the reference picture. And um, I would normally go for that, you know, spend a little time on it, make it nice. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go with this and uh, call this good for now. Let's just put this in the, in the group folder. There we go. Just going to make it as a small object. Once that's done, I am going to apply, yeah, outer glow. Okay, at the moment you can't really see this. Actually, you can. I'm just going to create here uh, just a layer so you can see what this outer glow is doing. So I'm going to use it as a, as a shadow. Turn it black, use 60% opacity, spread 6, size 100, and just make this as a nice little shadow. This will work well when I put the other shapes behind it and it will have a little bit of cast shadow on it. So I'm just going to remove this. And duplicate this, change, mm, yeah, uh -huh. have to convert to small object again, there we go, and then change the size to 90%, uh, let's say, yeah, that works well, duplicate it again, oh, here we are, and this is going to be 80%. Duplicate it again. This is going to be not 70, 72. There we go. Duplicate it again. Oh. And this is going to be 65. Good. 
duplicate it again, make this uh, 58. Um, let's do another one, and this is going to be 53. Okay, one last one, and this is going to be, I don't know, 48. There we go. So you see how the outer glow, which I applied in the first layer, is kind of casting a shadow on each. So that's great. That works well. We got the shapes ready. Let's do the text. Okay, the text, I found the font, which called halogen, and that seems to work very well for me. Uh, okay. Let me just type in infinite. There we go. Place it in the middle. Okay. As you can see, uh, yeah, I put 400, uh, 540, the spacing between the letters, and that seems to do the trick. We're going to add a cutout, like uh, letter E, F has got this cool cutout effect. So it's very simple. I'll just use a marquee tool to select the area I want to remove, I want to hide. And um, just gonna do that. Select the area we want to hide, and then I'm just going to paint it black. There we go. The E has got this really nice cutout, so I'm gonna use my shape, and also, well, we have to remove some part of it. We don't want the whole cutout, otherwise it will affect the other, the, the other letters. Just want it to affect the letter E. Once this is done, you can just hide this, and there we go. Oops, there's a tiny bit of. I save there and there. I don't, I don't like that. Let's remove it. Okay, good. Okay, now we can carry on with the effect. It's a, it's a very simple one. I just use a stroke. It's a wide stroke and I positioned it to center. The reason I positioned it center is to, to give a little bit more pointy edge to the letters like N. If you use inner, it will just kind of round it. I don't like that. I want it to be a little bit pointier. So I use this in center position. Okay, we can also add a pattern overlay. It's just, um, I just use one of these stone I think it comes with the legacy pattern pack. You just apply any of these fine um, noise, stony kind of uh, pattern, and that will work. You have to use the opacity above fifty percent and use maybe overlay mode, something which blends in nicely with the, with the base color, and then the scale. Uh, for me, fifteen percent works well. It nice and sharp. Okay, once that's done, oh, actually, one more effect is the um, drop shadow. Yeah, I'm just going to use, yeah, about 35%. Yeah, that's good. So once that's done, we'll create a duplicated version of this, but we're going to turn off the effects except the stroke. Okay. And then I use the transform tool. Before I do that, I'm going to convert this to smart object and then use the tool. Hmm. I'm going to remove the link and just, oh, that's way too much. One pixel is, 1% uh, is enough. Yeah, definitely. That looks nice. So as you can see, there's no stroke here. Let's do that. I'm just going to just remove it with a color overlay. I think that will work the work well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and here we have to go back. I have to go back because okay, let's see this shadow. It just doesn't really uh, work for me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, spread a little bit back. Mm -mm -mm. And let's do another outer glow. Yeah, I will um, 
size can be smaller like this yeah that's nice it works well perfect let's save this and now we have got uh, infinite poster text effect made in Photoshop and uh, hope you like the video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button send me a comment maybe suggestions what shall we do next if you see a nice poster or text effect uh, give me a shout and uh, we'll look into it how to create it in Photoshop okay thank you guys have fun bye